You know, if you think about what we have been able to do, is we capture the sensor data from BMW, Audi and Mercedes. We bring that into our platform, we process that data, and we give back four major services. What we're going to be showing you here is the entire city of Frankfurt in virtual reality with vehicles on the streets and real data coming from those vehicles. In today's world, on-street parking is one of the biggest sources of frustration for drivers in terms of time, cost, and missed opportunities. With our on-street parking service, we want to answer the essential questions of how likely am I to find an open spot? We want to help drivers become more informed in advance and ultimately more efficient in their travels. We're going to look at a downtown market in Frankfurt on a Saturday morning, looking at the behavior of those vehicles searching for a parking spot, which is totally different from your behavior driving on the highway. So we focus on one vehicle going through the road network, understanding when is a spot free, where is it free? Is it a free parking spot? Is it a paid parking spot? Even if you don't stop, you are contributing to the open location platform. And this information can be used and delivered back down to those vehicles that are also searching for parking in the same neighborhood. Our on-street parking content consists of link-based attributes, which indicates the presence and type of allowed on-street parking on each side of the street, the percentage of open parking spots, the average time to park per day of the week, per time of the day in the city. Next up, another pain point, real-time traffic. The current state of real-time traffic information has the potential to be enhanced significantly to be more accurate and more precise with real-time road conditions so drivers can migrate traffic problems before it impacts their journey. Our real-time traffic service will ingest, process, commercial vehicle probe data and combine it with rich sensor data to accurately inform drivers of traffic buildup in the areas. The open platform, if you think about it, it's a position that nobody has claimed yet for location. There's open platforms for any other index, the social index, the trade index, the search index, and some of them are pretty close actually. If we become the open platform for location, bring the data in from everybody, and you have a free trading zone to start enriching that and create new solutions and services, that is a beautiful position to be in. So next up, we're going to look at road sign detection. So what we have here are vehicles that can identify and locate a sign when it's actually changed, but also to verify that change. So you have white vehicles that are on the road network that are contributing to say, okay, we've hit the threshold. Now that change is accurate, it's delivered to the cloud, and they're delivered back down to the impacted vehicles. But this is not only those vehicles connected to the platform, it's also those vehicles that are not. We will continue to sell our license business in the map data. We're moving into 3D, we're moving into high definition. High definition maps will then be the foundational part for highly autonomous driving. The services on top of those will be new revenue streams for the business. Products, services and solutions, all three categories will be vital for here to really become the dominant player going forward. We want to look at our local hazard warning service which is taking the first critical step to realize industry requirement of a near real-time understanding of the global road network. The local hazard warning service provides real-time notification on incident, broken down vehicles, slippery roads, heavy rain, and fog. As we look down, this could be a contributing factor to an accident, to diminishing speeds on the road network. But what happens is vehicles cross this patch of road, they're delivering real-world information such as, I lost tire traction, my location, I've applied my ABS brakes, and this is just one incidence of the local hazard warning. We're going into the sensor level in the vehicle to understand what the car sees, to understand how the sensor data is collected, and then with the location element added, it can become actionable information for the vehicle itself 
and an additional benefit for the vehicles around them. What we're going to show you is exactly what the car sees. So all that information you saw, we understand how it's detected. So for example, in real-time traffic, we're looking at our GPS, our brake, our camera, and all of this information is flowing into the vehicle and then up to the cloud. So all that information taken into account can deliver real-time traffic information, better traffic flow back to all the vehicles that receive a traffic feed from here. So the new here will be de facto open location platform, which means that we will digitize the physical world. Think of this as a three-dimensional digital image where everything everyone and everybody has its location and we can correlate and contextualize services and solutions for everybody to consume.